hello guys and welcome back to today's video my name is Zeke the programming guy in today's video guys i want to show you how to upload music to distrokit from iphone it's very easy so let's get started the first step to take guys is to download the distrokit application on your iphone so how can you do it so all you have to do is go to app store search for distrokit and you find the distrokit app right there so go ahead and uh, click on the install button and install the application so once you have it installed you find it on your device just like this here so go ahead and open it and uh, sign into your distrokid account so once you sign into your distrokid account you will see your dashboard and you find all these um, icons at the bottom of your screen now in the center there is a a plus icon that you can click on to upload your music so I'm going to click on that Alright, so once you click on that, you will see these services options right here. So these are where you can upload or release your song, uh, starting from Spotify down to the last one, which is Snapchat. Alright. Alright, so um, now once you have all these services checked. The next thing you have to do is to scroll down and then you have to choose the number of song you want to upload so i'm going to tap on the drop down icon and select one by default one song will be selected so i just have to do that to show you that you can see more options of um, the number of songs you can upload so once that is selected um the next thing you have to do is to choose whether the song is previously released or not so if if no leave it as no and move to the next one now this section where you see artist slash band name is where you have to enter your artist name um so i have successfully uploaded a song on spotify and in the process i was able to add my artist name so i can't actually add it again because it's showing right there as you can see so i'll move on to the next part this other part are where you have to um, choose whether your song has been released or are already in Spotify or not so if yes select yes if no select no but I I can't get the option right here because I already answered to that before so it's uh, same thing goes to um, Apple music YouTube music um, Facebook etc and then uh, we have to scroll down to the next part where we, we can choose language so you can click on drop down icon and choose any other language of your choice you can select a gen a genre for your song so I, I will select afro beat and then the secondary genre is going to be afro pop then uh, right here you have to choose album cover for your song so you need to make sure um, that your album cover meets this criteria shown down here so these are the criteria for your album cover once it meets it then click on this choose new image button and choose your album cover I don't really have any album cover right here so right i have this ones here so i'll choose this one so here it is now i'm going to scroll down and uh, then i have to enter my song title and uh, then um i'm going to scroll down so if you are Featuring someone on the song, you can select yes, or if you're not, you can select no. So I'm going to scroll down because I'm not uh, featuring any artists on the song, and no is selected by default. 
so i'll scroll down so i'll keep scrolling down <coughs> all right so this part is where you have to choose whether the version of the song is the normal version or the radio edit or or others all right so it's the normal version so i'll leave it that way and scroll down so this part is where you have to choose the audio file from your device so i'm going to click on choose file and uh, you need to make sure that the audio file is either a WAV file or FLAC file, right? So after that, you have to scroll down, and uh, then uh, for the songwriter, if someone wrote the song for you, if a songwriter wrote the song for you, you can choose another artist wrote the song, or if you wrote it yourself, you have to select I wrote this song. And uh, move on. Uh, this is the part where you have to enter the songwriter's real name, right? So since I wrote the song, I will enter my name, my middle name, and my last name. And then, if the song contains explicit lyrics, select yes if not select no and move on so guys i will keep scrolling down until i get to this last part where i have to check all these mandatory buses so i will check these buses like this and then i'll come down here and click on done so once i click on done um in less than two days your song will be on Spotify and then it will take some other some more days for your song to get to Apple Music and other platforms which you are going to see uh, once you click on done alright so that is how you can successfully upload your music on DistroKid using an iPhone hope this uh, video was helpful to you if it was give this video a like and equal to subscribe to get more effective tips like this